the Beacons, it's home for us. And we've been, I guess 2000 was the first year I was here with the Almond Brothers. And our son was here when he was nine days old. It just, it feels, it feels comfortable. It's one of the places we, uh, we always look forward to coming back to. There's only a handful like this in the whole country. We love the audience. I mean, we come back, they're always great. They always make us feel really welcome, and, and somehow they come all the different nights, so we try to make it <laughs> special for them. <laughs> yeah, a lot of familiar faces. You know, when we play the Beacon, we, we have to dig deep, because we, we play multiple nights, and you, you never want to repeat, and you have to take it seriously. I mean, we think about the Beacon the Beacon run all year. We think about songs that we're going to do with the Beacon. Yeah. Work I think one out. of the secrets too is he puts a lot of thought into it and he thinks about what have we done in the past, how can we make it different and unique, and how can we present something new, you know, for the people and make it exciting. And then it, it ends up being exciting for the band. Well, we definitely did not know that we had sold 100,000 tickets. That's amazing. Being here on Broadway is just amazing in itself. And, you know, I think people like to come here and you know it's just one of those venues that we really feel blessed to get to play at. I remember how excited we were the first time we got to headline the Beacon by ourselves for one night so uh, we're one of those bands and I think we've always been that way you just kind of keep your head down and you keep plowing forward and you keep working and every once in a while something like that happens and, and uh, I don't think you realize how, how far it's come. <laughs>